hi guys so as you can see i have the uh, setup um, for a spot folder using the ultra capacitor so this ultra capacitor is a maxwell uh, boost cap ultra capacitor 350 farad at 2.7 volts okay so i put that this uh, series three pieces series and then I put this parallel okay so you can see series series and then put it together here now it's parallel I put a uh, resist I mean uh, LED and resistor I put um, 10 amp, um, 100 volts, and then put it in uh, parallel. So I have uh, 100 amps at 100 volts, and then I put this uh, buzzer and the bleed resistor, and then in here I have the tip for spot weld. As you can see, it's a removable tip, and uh, I'm going to show it to you that this positive tip has a V-shape in here, as you can see, just like a tiny shape, it's the V-shape, I hope you see it, but there's a, like, like a V, okay. And then in this uh, one, this is a uh, pulse and time switch, and it powers by a lithium ion batteries here, so that a, uh, a series, so I have 12 volt of uh, power to this uh, module and then what's inside I mean uh, what's beneath in the that one it's a Chinese uh, IGBT um, I mean a uh, MOSFET so as you can see it's super thin wire so I know it's fake transistor I mean a I mean um MOSFET so I bought a lot of that as you can see this is like uh, 50 pieces so I put 20 pieces inside of on the copper plate and then I remove the um the uh, Relay here, I change that to optocoupler, and then in here, this side, as you can see, I have the uh, power supply, it's 30 volts at uh, 5 amp. Uh, this one is a DPH 5005, it's a boost back converter or back boost converter. So that's this why it's go to the um, to the capacitor. As you can see here, goes to the positive the capacitor, and then the other one goes to the negative of the capacitor. Okay, so in here, um, I set this to a five volts. As you can see, guys. You set that to 5 volts at 5 amps. Right there. So I set uh, 5 volts, 5 amp. I'm gonna turn that on. Sorry, sorry. Okay. So now it charged the capacitor.
I'm gonna stop in this video and then I'm gonna return. Okay. So now guys, I'm back. You can see now it's 5 volts. And then I'm gonna show it to you. When I press this uh, switch, it clicks. I mean, uh, it's buzz because of this buzzer. So you can see. I'm gonna do that again. Okay. So if I press hold this um, switch button, it's only it's only one pulse because I set the pulse here and time only one. Okay. See. See, if I press multiple, so well, that's you're gonna see, you're gonna, it's gonna be like that, okay? So you're gonna press like more, there's nothing. So now, I'm gonna do here the, I mean, I buy. A lot of uh, resistor, it's a generic resistor, Chinese generic. So you're gonna use this as a fuse. Uh, it here. Well, I wanna make sure that um, it's gonna go to the V. In the middle of the, in the V shape, like that. So okay. Now we're gonna put that here. And then the other one, the negative is going to be in here, on the other side. Then I'm going to press, press the um, switch. Now, as you can see, guys. As you can see the spot in the, in the battery. I'm going to turn the um, resistor out you can see the wire left to uh, to the battery so I'm gonna do that in here again and the negative button on the battery You can see, then I'm gonna turn it out. See, uh, the wire left here again. I'm gonna do that again. As you can see, guys. Now I'm gonna do a metal strip, the nickel metal strip, but again I put this to 8 volts, okay? By the way, the maximum to, to charge this capacitor is 8.1 volts, and then I don't have um, the balance system in here, so I want to make sure that I'm on the limit, below the limit, okay? So I'm gonna put this to 8.1 volts. I mean, 8 volts. Up, 8 volts. I'm gonna come back later again. Guys, he's in 8 volts. Now we're gonna put that in here. I have the metal strip here. I didn't clean this, so it's just like uh, the old one. I'm gonna put that here. And another one here. And then click the. There we go. And then I'm gonna take this out. Mm -hmm. See it broke. 
so it means it, it welds the battery I'm gonna put that to the other one here this is the negative on the battery and so okay that's the welded there you go so as you can see the strip it's welded in the battery see I'm gonna do this again See that one? I oh, shit. Sorry. Take this out. Oh shit. Sorry about that. I'm gonna do this in here. To the positive. I need to wait over there to get the 8 volts I don't know it's 8 volts Now I turn this apart <laughs> There you go guys so, so if you use the uh, resistor for fuse, you need to put the volts to 5 volts. So it charged the capacitor for 5 volts. And the uh, time fo pulse is um, 100 milliseconds. And then the the time will be only, I mean, yeah, that time pulse is 100 milliseconds, and then the pulse is one pulse, okay? And for the metal strip, like here, I use um, 8 volts, you can see. So, this is the first battery I test, as you can see, guys. See, this one has a holes. As a hole in the middle. I hope you like it, guys. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next of my video. Uh, like and share and subscribe. Bye bye. Peace.